Dear student friends, welcome to the problem solving session of Circle of Curvature Part 2. Those who don't watch the Part 1 video, go to the playlist, watch the video Part 1 where we introduce the notations and we write the formula for radius of curvature, center of curvature and circle of curvature. In addition, we solved a problem xy equal to c square at the point c comma c and we found all the three. So, if you learn the problem how to solve circle of curvature, it covers radius of curvature, center of curvature and circle of curvature. So, whatever the problems asked to your exam, you would be confident to do it. So, in this session, we are going to solve few more different problems on circle of curvature. Let us go into the session. So, this problem is little different. They give root x plus root y is equal to root a. I want y in terms of the function f of x or x in terms of function f of y. We usually habituate to do problem y in terms of f of x. So, we do as like this. So, let us rewrite root y is equal to root a minus root x. If you do differentiation as it is, it will be little tough. So, I am bringing the problem in terms of y. So, y is going to be square root of a minus square root of x whole square. Still, it is little tough to do. So, I am expanding this a square plus b square minus 2ab that is root a root x. Now, it is very easy for me to solve the problem. So, you can solve this problem in two ways. Either you can apply the direct formula or you can use the general formula. We know that differentiation of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 and we can proceed. This is one way. Or just we know root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x and then 1 by root x differentiation is minus 1 by 2x root x. So, either you can go in this way or you can go in this way. I will show both the ways. Whatever you like, you can try. So, first I am just taking y1 as dy by dx and y2 as d square y by dx square. I am writing y value. So, y1 is equal to differentiation of a is 0, x is 1 minus 2 into root a, root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x. Now, 2 to get cancel, I can rewrite this as 1 minus square root of a divided by root x. Next, when I go for y2, this term will become 0 minus root a, 1 by root x differentiation is minus 1 by 2x root x. So, I will keep as it is. Now, the given points are a by 4, a by 4. When I substitute here, my y1 will become 1 minus root a, 1 by square root of a by 4. So, it will become 1 minus root a, 2 by root a. Okay, when it goes to the numerator. Now, root a, root a get cancelled. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Therefore, my y1 is going to be minus 1. Similarly, when I want to find y2, substitute the value of x. Minus 1 by 2 into a by 4 square root of a by 4. Now, we see minus into minus plus then it will become 4 by a into 2 into root 4 by root a. Now, root a root a get cancelled. 2, 2 get cancelled. Then, square root of 4 is 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 by a. So, my y2 is 4 by a. I have found my y1 and y2. You can solve the same problem in the other way. Normal differentiation, x power n differentiation is n into x power n minus 1. So, y1 is going to be 1 minus 2 into root a, x power 1 by 2. 2 that is my root x. So, we will be getting 1 by 2 x power minus 1 by 2 because 1 by 2 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2. Now, x power minus 1 by 2 differentiation is minus 1 by 2 x power minus 1 by 2 minus 1. So, it is going to be minus 2 root a minus 1 by 2 x power minus 3 by 2. Now, substituting this a by 4 value, we will be getting 1 minus root a a by 4. 4 power minus 1 by 2. I can simply write it as 4 by a power 1 by 2. Power 1 by 2 is nothing but my square root. So, root a root 4 by root a. Root a root a get cancelled. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Then, similarly, we can found the second one is 4 by a. 
so either you can go by this way or the first method which i shown previously whatever the way you go answer is same y1 is minus 1 y2 is 4 by a next we are going to find the radius of curvature we know the formula and just now we found y1 is minus 1 so 1 plus minus 1 whole square whole power 3 by 2 y2 is 4 by a now minus 1 whole square is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 power 3 by 2 divided by 4 by a simplifying this we'll be getting a by 4 into 2 power 3 by 2 2 power 3 by 2 is nothing but 2 root 2 now 2 to get cancel we'll be getting a root 2 by 2 simplifying this we'll be getting a by root 2 2 so my row is done next we have to find center of curvature x bar comma y bar hope you remember the formula x minus y1 into the red highlighted data similarly y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2 as i said in the earlier videos find 1 plus y1 square by y2 it is easy for us to find x bar as well as y bar so minus 1 whole square is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 taking to the numerator we will be getting a by 4 so it is going to be a by 2 2 now it is easy for us to find x bar y bar because the points is also given to us it is a by 4 comma a by 4 always i find y bar because it is easy y bar is y plus this since my point is a by 4 y is going to be a by 4 then this we found a by 2 so a by 4 plus 2a by 4 it is easy for us to take lcm it is going to be 3a by 4 or you can use your calculator also next we are going for x bar x minus y1 into 1 plus y1 square by y2 my x value is also a by 4 minus y1 is minus 1 this is going to be a by 2 wow we get the same thing a by 4 plus a by 2 it is going to be 3a by 4 therefore my center of curvature is going to be 3a by 4 comma 3a by 4 next final step we have to find the circle of curvature for finding the circle of curvature write the formula write what is your x bar and y bar and similarly write your row substituting this and squaring row will be getting a square by 2 therefore the circle of curvature for the problem root x plus root y equal to root a at the point a by 4 comma a by 4 is this now in the exam point of view they will ask the same same problem find the circle of curvature for root x plus root y equal to 1 at the point 1 by 4 comma 1 by 4 either roc or coc they can ask so you can easily crack from this now in session 1 video we are dealing with x y equal to c square at the point c comma c now there is a specific values can be asked we'll take the problem x y equal to 12 at the point 3 comma 4 this is also one of the important problem so i will solve in a tabulated way so first we have to write in our required format y equal to 12 by x then we have to assume y1 is equal to dy by dx because i am doing the notation this is not a common notation then y2 is equal to d square y by dx square after writing this we will go for the table now differentiation of y is y1 that is 12 into minus 1 by x square now substituting the values we will be getting y1 is equal to minus 12 by 3 square because the point is x comma y and simplifying this we will be getting minus 12 by 9 that is minus 4 by 3 next we are going to find y2 differentiation of y1 with respect to x we will be getting y2 so minus 12 differentiation of 1 by x square is minus 2 by x cube minus into minus plus will be getting 24 by x cube now substituting the point of x y2 is going to be 24 by 3 cube that is going to be 24 by 27 8 by 9 so my y1 is minus 4 by 3 y2 is 8 by 9 next we are going to find the radius of curvature we know y1 value substitute the y1 value simplifying this we'll be getting 1 plus 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 
whole whole power three by two divided by eight by nine. So that is going to be nine by eight into twenty five by nine when you take LCM. Taking square root, we'll be getting five by three whole cube. And simplifying this, we'll be getting one twenty five divided by twenty four. This is my radius of curvature. Next, center of curvature. As usual, write the formula first, and we need the red. Term. Now substituting this, we'll be getting nine by eight plus sixteen by nine. It is going to be nine by eight, twenty-five by nine. So nine nine get cancelled. We'll be getting twenty-five by eight. So now this is ready. First find y bar, then x bar. We know the point is three comma four. Therefore y value is four and one plus y one square by y two value is twenty-five by eight. So thirty-two plus twenty-five divided by eight is going to be fifty-seven by eight. Similarly, y one value. We know it is going to be minus four by three. Simplifying this, we'll be getting three plus twenty-five by six. That is going to be eighteen plus twenty-five divided by six. That is forty-three divided by six. So we found our x bar and y bar. That is my center of curvature. From this, I can easily found my circle of curvature. Substitute the value of x bar, y bar, and rho. Then we get the answer. This is my Final solution. Don't simplify the square or taking LCM. Nothing is needed. That's it, students. So we see two different problems in this session. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.